Do you need to get out of town looking for a new event to check out with features like live music, amazing food, and all sorts of unique shopping? Sounds pretty fun. <laughs> North Kansas City's Swift Mile Street Festival is coming up September 8th and 9th. Mindy Hart is filling us in via Skype today. Good morning, Mindy. Good morning. So this is the second year for the Swift Mile Street Festival. What can you tell us about the event this year? So it really started off last year with this idea that we wanted to bring attention to all of the amazing things that are happening in North Kansas City. And what people don't realize is that we are literally across the river from the Sprint Center, from the city market. So we're really nestled in the heart of downtown Kansas City, really. And it, yet we're still a independent um, city and municipality of our own. And so we started this street festival with makers and artists. So we're really featuring a lot of handmade and local regional uh, products that people are um, bringing in to sell. And um, we had two music stages last year. We've expanded it to three. And of course we have the Pike Path that is a part of it and the Pike Path we typically think of pub crawls, and this is a little bit of a variation on a pub crawl. There's more than 30 points of interest throughout town, restaurants, bars, dance venues, um, athletic venues. And so we've kind of created a scavenger hunt for people to go through the city. Um, it's a little over a mile, mile and a half. Um, so you can walk it, bike it, you can even catch the trolley. So is the Swift Mile Street Festival a family event or is it geared more toward adults? Well, and that's kind of the interesting thing. If you come into the street festival area, you're gonna have a whole children's area with face painting and arts and crafts that the kids can make and some yard games um, and live music, of course, that's appropriate for all ages. And then of course, if you want to go check out all of the breweries and the distilleries and the entertainment venues throughout town. Um, so it's really both. Well, what makes North Kansas City a unique destination for those coming in from out of town like us from Omaha? So some of the unique things that North Kansas City has to offer, again, we are right across the river from the city market. And literally when I go home from the Sprint Center, it takes me five minutes. So we can have access to any point in Kansas City within about 15 minutes, Royals game, Chiefs game, Sporting KC. But some of the venues that are in North Kansas City itself are pretty amazing. There's a new restaurant in town. It's called Chicken and Pickle. And if you've never heard of Pickleball, you really need to check this out. It's really, this business has changed the texture of North Kansas City completely. People come here just to play pickleball. And of course, there's a full service restaurant in there as well. So they come in for dinner and then there's live music up on the patio and the rooftop. And um, that's just one venue in North Kansas City that makes this a place for people, millennials to Gen Xers to uh, baby boomers to come and check out. So it's really a destination for everyone. Um, and that's just one example of the dozens of businesses that have come to North Kansas City, including the technology. One of the cool things about North Kansas City is that we have a fiber optic internet system that existed before Google came to town. And so all of our residents and our businesses have access to this super, super fast, high speed internet. Um, so for technology, it's amazing. So just come out, check North Kansas City. It's right there nestled in the heart of Kansas City. You are gonna love it. And that was on September 8th and 9th, correct? September 8th and 9th, September, the Friday night is um, a new feature that we've added for this year. So um, you'll wanna come out and check it out. It, it'll be a little, um, the street market won't be open on Friday evening. The street market will actually open on Saturday, but you can certainly come out and start the pint path. And one thing you're gonna wanna know before you come, it, it hasn't gone live yet, so mark it on your calendar for September 1st is our target date to launch the NKC Go app. This app will allow you to know where everything is in town, including art installations that we have started to put on buildings. This is one of the things that we started last year. Um, it'll tell you points of interest, historical features, and of course, your favorite venues in town and what you're looking for from movie theaters to dining to Sounds your favorite great. adult beverage. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mindy. We appreciate it. Thank you. Mike? 